2009 MacBook Pro DVD Super Drive replacement. Start out by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. To remove the logic board cover, remove the seven Phillips head screws starting at the top left and going all the way around the contour of the MacBook. Once you remove the seven Phillips head screws, now remove the three long Phillips head screws. Lift up and remove the logic board cover. Before you begin, disconnect the battery. DVD Super Drive Removal Go ahead and begin by disconnecting the speaker and the Wi-Fi cables. You can now detach the speaker that's being held in with two Phillips head screws, one on each side. Push the speaker over to the side and expose the Wi-Fi cable bracket. It's being held in with two Phillips head screws, go ahead and remove those. Move the bracket out of the way. Now you can disconnect the DVD data and the hard drive cables. The DVD drive is being held in with three Phillips head screws, one in the top corners on the left side and one in the back. Remove those screws. You can now lift up the drive at an angle from the back and pull it out. DVD Super Drive Reinstallation Place the Super Drive in at an angle and drop it into its socket. Secure it with the three Phillips head screws, one in the bottom left, one in the top left, and one screw in the back. Reattach the Wi-Fi cable bracket and secure it with two Phillips head screws. Make sure that the bracket is going over the Wi-Fi cable. Place the speaker into its position. Reattach it with two Phillips head screws. Plug in the Wi-Fi antenna cable back into the logic board. Also plug in the speaker back into the logic board. You can now reattach the DVD data cable and the hard drive cable back to the logic board. Reconnect the battery. You can now place the logic board cover back on and secure it with the 10 Phillips head screws three long ones first now the seven short ones starting in the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook After this procedure, it is highly suggested that you perform an NVRAM reset 